okay now next we will going to come to the map map how we will going to store the value in the key value format let's again declare and initialize the map so here we will going to store the value one and the string value related to it or anything else so in the list we have stored the names of the candidate then we have in the set we have stored the candidate skills now we will going to store the values in map for uh, candidate and their experience okay candidate name and their experience in this way, my name will be stored at the key and my ex their experience will be stored at its value. So my map key will be of a string type where I will going to store the name of uh, the candidates and value will be the integer because I want to store their experience. The same way we are going to initialize this. Here also there are two ways to store the value at the time of initialization and then using the function, uh, the add function we have used in the list and the map. But here add function is not there. There here we are having different function using which we will going to store it. Okay, now at the time of initialization, let's enter few values. So there curly braces will come. Okay, now John is my first candidate. So this is of a string type. It will come in quotes. John. And now here we will going to store its experience. How we will going to store it? Equals to and then this operator. Okay, equals to will come and then operator will come. This will going to show me or simple um, sim, 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 sim size like this value, this string value or the key is having a value 3. Okay, which means John is having experience of 3 years. Now the next value I want to store, then you will going to add a comma here. Now add here second member name. It can be Eva. Okay, again equals to and then this operator she is having an experience of two years okay now again you can uh, add any value here name will come okay and now this person is having an experience of five years so this is how you will going to store the values in map at the time of initialization curly braces will come then the value of key will come and correspond to this key value will be stored. So this is a visiting type. So in the course and this is of integer type. So we're going to add an integer here. Okay. Now let's print this map. Now I want to add more values. So using the function, we will going to add more values. So the function is put. Put will going to help to add more values to this map. So first, we'll we have to enter the string value here. You can enter any name like Bob. Okay. And then correspond to this, we have to enter its value, which will be string type. He, this person is having a four years of experience. We'll debug here also how many values are stored now. Four values are stored to this map. Okay. Now let's suppose if I want to access any value using this ID or the key. Like suppose I want to check how many years of experience Eva is having. So which means two is stored in this map. So how we will going to get this two. So there is a function access value from 
map using key we we are we know that we are having the key value but using this key value i want to access its value so how will going to access uh, it is storing the integer value here so my variable the value which i am getting is the integer type okay experience of eva i want to know so how will going to access this the map name will come okay get is the function and in this get you have to enter the key for the eva i want to know the well uh, experience or the value this will going to return me whatever the key, uh, value is entered correspond to this eva that is 2 will be returned to this variable which is of integer type okay now let's print this value now how we will going to iterate over you over this map so this is my map i want to use for uh, want to use this in a for loop so this is my for loop again i want to uh, iterate this map for the keys only so keys are having the values stored in the string format this is the string so my data type will be and added here is the string okay and let's add any variable name and from this map i want to get all the values stored at the key so another function is there key set key set is the function which will going to return me all the values which are stored at the key of this map okay let's print one by one what values it will going to return us this is for the key i want to check but like suppose i want to iterate over the values then again values is the function which will going to give me the value store in this map one by one okay let's print this first so there is at the 30 line 38 so we here at this line we have printed our map which having three values at this time Alice, eva and the john okay this is how the values are stored in this map Alice with five year experience eva with two and john with three okay and then at this line next we have stored or added one more value to this now bob is also available with four years of experience okay now the next debug is added to check whether this value or what is the experience of this person eva okay so here experience of eva is two using the key we get the value and uh, uh, stored to this key okay next is one by one, we have iterated over this map to get all the keys stored here. Okay, so these are all the keys. John, Eva, Elias, and the Bob. All four keys are print out one by one from this variable. 